So, hello everybody and in this video I'm going to talk about the iterators in Java. So what is the iterators? Each collection is iterable. You can obtain its iterator object to traverse all the elements in the collection. The collection interface extends the iterable interface. What does it mean? Uh, it means that all the classes that implements the collection interface would be also would also implement the iterable interface. So uh, we we use actually we actually use the uh, iterators to traverse the elements for our collection, and it has only three three main methods. Uh, it's the next method, has next, and the remove method. So look at uh, let's look at the, some examples. Uh, suppose that we have the list of strings, animals, and Let's add some animals to our collection. I think it's enough here. So the cat, dog, fox, rabbit. Uh, yes, it's enough. So how do we print and how do we iterate, traverse all the elements from our, our list? The first method is using the common for loop. Animals.size count and animals.get i. Let's run this program. And we can see that all the elements from our list. And this is the first method. Second method is using the for each loop. Uh, we would say that animal. From our animals list, we will print animal. And as you can see, it works exactly like the for method. For loop. I mean, so the next method is using the iterators. Iterators will be uh, same as the our list. We contain string elements. So iter animals dot iterator. So let's show uh, the main methods. The remove method will remove the last element that was returned by the next method. The next method returns the element from our collection. It has next method checks uh, if we have the next method, it will next element, it would return the true, uh, otherwise it will return false. So we we'll write while has next in animal equals to iter dot next and we print each element in uppercase for example so as you can see it works exactly like for each loop but if we have to manipulate with our list or remove some elements it would be better to use iterators so for for each loop you can't remove some elements so how would we remove the elements so for example uh, we want to remove the fox from our array list we will do uh, if animals <coughs> animal dot equals fox iter dot dot remove and if we print our array list you can see that fox will be removed yes and also we can remove um, without this method how can we do it for example we, we want to remove the dog from our animals array list we would call the method next two times Next. And then we will call iter remove. So if we print our array list, we can see that dog also will be removed. Yes, there is no dog. So the next thing I would like to talk about is the list iterator. So list iterator uh, usually uh, uh, <coughs> works with lists so 
is array list or linked list. Could be also string ter animal dot list iterator. It has more mer merits than the common iterator, so it has has previous add next index previous and previous index method. But it works exactly the same as our common iterator. For example, iter dot has next dot next case the result would be exactly like in iterator so let's see the another methods while iter dot has previous we will print the previous element each time so in this case that our iterator would be at the end of our collection and it will print our collection in the reverse order so let me do something like this and let's run this program and you can see that uh, this is the reverse order of our collection uh, also if you want to add some elements to our array list, we can just call the method add and add some animals. So, for example, add mm, bird. No, oh, no, bird is not animal. Let's add dog and print our collection or array list again. So as you can see, we have two logs in our array list. So that's it for iterators. Thank you for your attention. I think I hope that my video was helpful for you. Goodbye.